graphic design class at Chester D High School offers three levels of classes. We start with introduction to graphic design, then you take graphic design and production, and then you take advanced graphic design. Each of those classes include learning how to use the computer, gaining graphic design skills, but then also production skills in making products like t-shirts and cups and plaques, printing banners, all different things like that. Graphic design is actually not the hardest to learn, but honestly, it's a, a little bit more of a computer-centric class. If you've been in the AV program or anything similar to that, uh, it's a lot of the same kind of concepts with its programs. I'm in the first year program, but even that being said, there's so much you get to learn and it's not that difficult to actually learn it. So far I've had a great time. Miss Wilson is just a blessing. This class really helps get your creative juices flowing. I think it's a very good class for a lot of people. Uh, I would try to take it an earlier year than uh, your senior year like me, but that's just my opinion. Let me explain to you why it's so impactful to me. I'm not an artist. I'm not an art person at all. I kind of hate drawing actually, but this, this changed everything. You see, you see all these drawings right here on the wall? I've, I've been inspired to do something like this. The digital illustration is crazy. You can, you can think about advertising, digital illustration, marketing, making logos. You do all of that in here, right? You do all of that. That's all like, you see it everywhere. And when, once you, once you're in, you can't leave. I don't know how to explain it. The process of making stuff here is pretty cool. So like all these signs you see around the school, the stickers, you know, the, the big signs where all the teachers are, those are all made mostly in this graphic design lab here. And uh, the process of making them is actually quite cool from printing them onto sticky paper and putting them onto cardboard. If you enjoy computers and being creative, um, it would be a really, really great class. Why you should join marketing? I feel like you should join marketing because it's a really fun class. You do a lot of projects. You get to hang out like with a lot of like the people in groups. And then like for the third class, you get to be in Snack Shack or where you go out for dinner. You get to sell clothes and like sell snacks. And stuff. Marketing will really help you branch out of your comfort zone a lot and go into things that you didn't think you were going to want to learn, but like you actually enjoy. Some fun things that also come with this is Chick-fil-A leadership. You got to talk about just Chick-fil-A in general and how they market their stuff and you get free food sometimes. To me personally, it has definitely helped me with my presentation skills, communication skills. I can communicate with strangers, I can communicate with new people, with older people I already know. Got to learn. I, I learned like to actually like the coursework because it gave me like the freedom to do whatever I wanted and to learn whatever I wanted, kind of, but I was still learning what I needed to know to actually do well on the exams. Um, some things I've gained from this are community service hours and communication skills. Along with that, after we finish this course, I'll get a cord for graduation, and it helped like single down my pathway. So if you enjoy working with money, this is definitely a class for you. program is <laughs> amazing here at CHS. Um, I've got to learn so many new things like how to use a camera, how to use a boom pole, uh, how to work lighting, uh, set up equipment even and it it was just a safe space for like um, allowing for the for my creative ideas to just incubate <laughs> and just like allow me to make that happen and creativity that's really the biggest 
biggest object of this particular program. Um, if you're interested in anything to do with cameras, anything to do with news and media and film, and you feel like you have a creative mind, here you're not always going to be prompted to be creative or to do or make things, but you are given all of the resources to basically do whatever if you're willing to put in the time and the commitment. So if you feel like you're, you have the creativity, willing to put in the time and commitment, then this is a good program to help trampoline you into doing really cool things. Yes, this, uh, this pathway has been very uh, useful and important to my life as well. Um, just as a first year, I've gotten to experience real on-set life as a film person. Um, and this pathway is really the way to go if you want to do this professionally. Um, people will tell you, that, honestly, if you're wanting to be an actor, a crew member, anything that does film, do AV. Now, if you want to be an actor, do theater and AV together because that will really catapult you just life in general honestly with your creativity and how you see this industry. End of pathway for healthcare. Um, I've done EMR, I've done patient healthcare, and right now I'm in allied health and medicine. Um, I I really like the healthcare pathway because when I graduate, I want to become a nurse. Um, I think it gives you really good experience if healthcare is something you're interested in. We do lots of labs. Um, just a lot of like hands-on stuff. Um, I'm also in a healthcare club and organization we have here called OSA. I'm the president this year. Um, and it's just, it's really fun. You get to go to some conferences um, and learn a lot more. You can compete. Last year I made it to the international level, so I won third in state. And I got to go to Nashville, Tennessee and compete. And it was really fun, really cool experience. Um, and I hope if you like healthcare that you join HOSA and you come do healthcare up here. I'm a senior. I did the healthcare pathway since freshman year. It's a very, how do I say, activity-based class, so it makes it fun and it allows you when you finish the pathway early enough to do an internship at the hospital like I'm doing. And you just get to immerse yourself more in the hospital and healthcare pathway and see for yourself what you really do like once you do the internship. And it also gives you more better explanation of what you want to do in the future if you want to do the healthcare field. Construction to me, like, I joined it because like, I know it's a lot of money in there and, you know, the, the industry, like, is going huge. The reason I joined construction was for later in life skills. Everybody's going to own a house at one point and you need to know how to fix it. After COVID, you know, like, people do, didn't really have jobs. Um, and, uh, you know, if you had a skill out there, you know, people are willing to pay for it. So it gives uh, good job skills for out of high school. If you don't plan on going to college, it sets you up on the right path for a job right out of high school. I want to become an electrician one day to like, you know, show off that I'm good at what I do 
uh, have a good paying job, you know, uh, probably start a, like, a family and, you know, be sustainable. So I would say one of the biggest things about automotive is attention to detail and you know that's an ability that can be applied to almost any field that you go work in. It teaches you a lot of the basic skills that you need in a workplace because this shop is very shop oriented. Attention to detail is the greatest thing because you can be working all day on this car, all day on that truck, you know you're working, working, following the instructions perfectly and then you get to the end and you realize you missed one detail and you know that's the kind of stuff that leaves you feeling down about the work you did. The thing with that though is that Hogue has a very interesting way in his class where he can take that and put it into, well, how can I do better? How can I make the next job go perfectly smooth? And you know, that's the thing is that nothing can be perfect and you mess up every now and then. But you know, that's just how it is. And I just thank him for letting me try my best to be perfect and figuring out you can't always be perfect, but you can always try your best. I'm here to talk about the automotive pathway. It consists of three classes, and then after you finish the three classes, you can do an optional interning option, which is what I'm doing right now. In the first year, you learn the basics on the computer work, learn all about the safety, the procedures, how to use shop key, and many other things like that. And in the latter part of the first semester, you would actually get hands-on experience in the shop. And in the second year, you work more hands-on as you are more experienced, you do oil changes, you do various other procedures such as brakes, and in the third year, you may be able to choose your own project, such as fixing something like this, which is one of our project cars that we have out in the courtyard. And after that, for the interning process, you just be working for the shop full-time, assisting customers that come in with any needs that they may have. 